D A I L Y D A I L Y podcast podcast answer questions. We will take all your suggestions. Woohoo! Woo! Yeah! Yes. Bring it home, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> all right, everybody, welcome back. Yep. Another day <laughs> here in the old podcast studio. Um, I'm Graham. I'm Ashkan. And today's question is, thanks for the great episodes, exclamation point. Oh, nice. Good question. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering. Oh, more to it. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering what podcasts you guys listen to. Oh, I, this is really the only podcast I listen to. Is On this... repeat. Usually it's mostly I have a, you know, one headphone bud in and I just sort of have that day's episode on repeat. It's looping. During most of the other things that I'm doing. Yeah, so that's that's um, my main recommendation for anybody out there. And I have a nice podcast software that actually cuts out Ashcon's voice, so it's just me <laughs> kind of talking back, which is really nice. Oh, really? What? No. Not, um, okay. <laughs> I wish, man. <laughs> <laughs> me too. That'd be great. <laughs> Make a fortune. <laughs> uh, so I guess, yeah, the, you know, big shout out to uh, the other Float Center centric podcast that's out there, yeah. Art of the Float. Which is uh, which is phenomenal, and I listen to to every episode of that that comes out. Um, um, there's a few other float podcasts out there too. Yeah, there's for the sure. Escape podcast. Yep, Jeremy Warner. Uh, I think he might have taken a break recently, or at least uh, yeah, for for a period of almost a year, I think. So oh, okay, well, he's got like a library of uh, yeah, older huge. episodes, and they're great too. They're they're really fun to go back and listen to. Yeah. Um, and that, those ones. So the, these other ones, I guess, Art of the Float is the only other one that's really geared towards float center kind of owners industry. and then kind of tactical tips and yeah. things like that for yeah. for people. Um, yeah, the the Escape podcast, there's the uh, Tom Wonk has the float cast, mm-hmm. uh, which is very, like, a lot of those are interviews with floaters. So if you're, if you're into kind of hearing the personal story side, if you want to hear experiences from people who have just hopped in the tank, that's a great one to, to go back and listen to. Uh, we have another podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Highly recommended. Um, it's for the float conference. It's kind of a seasonal thing, but uh, we, uh, in the kind of months leading up to the float conference, will interview each of the upcoming conference speakers, and and it's pretty cool actually. I I obviously I mean, it's it's me hosting it, so I obviously like it. But uh, it's and uh, if you download that software, you can actually yeah, just hear the guests. It just cut. Ashcon's it'll cut my questions. side out. It'll be it'll be much better. But um, but it's a really cool way to prepare for coming to the float conference. You get to listen to who the people are, learn their backgrounds, and and get some context before you actually, you know, watch their talk. And and it just makes their talk, I think, a lot more enjoyable to see. Um, other podcasts, I guess that I personally have gotten a lot out of and and have listened to if not right now then in the past uh mixergy was a big one for for me when we were kind of starting up our business and that's just a a kind of i think it's five days a week podcast about an hour per episode and it's a interview with a different business founder every single day and i I there's there's a lot of kind of founder interviews podcasts out there and i Mm -hmm. specifically like this one because it gets a lot into uh nitty-gritty details again kind of um uh actual useful tactics that you can implement in your business. Uh, Andrew Warner, the host, is really good at kind of getting down to those uh, uh, tidbits of, of actual use that you can take out. Yeah, it's good. He'll just stop people and, like, drill further into yeah, wait, what do questions, you mean? Like, which, what are you is, talking about? <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> yep, so that's a great one. Um, another one on the business realm was Smart Passive Income Podcast. I don't know if you've listened to that one at all. I don't think so. Ashkan. Um, that's really good. Uh, it's less relevant to float centers just because... Uh, it focuses a lot on business models where you can kind of set things up and then it just sort of runs in the background, which I guess ideally a float center uh, can do, but that's not its its greatest value, I guess, as, uh-huh. as starting up as a business is that. So um, very interesting, though. Some good online tips, especially a lot of online marketing strategy for that one. Um, I also have a couple of philosophy podcasts <laughs> that I listen to. Uh, so The History of Philosophy Without Any Gaps and Philosophy Bites are kind of my two, um, yeah, just staying a little bit in touch with modern philosophy uh, things that I go through about, you know, a couple times a week. Yeah, you know, to be honest, I, I listen to a lot more audiobooks than I listen to podcasts. I find, like, I find business books specifically to be really enjoyable to listen to as audiobooks because they're usually full of so much fluff that, like, it's mm-hmm. really nice to turn them on and put them on like double speed and kind of have them in the background as you're walking somewhere or doing dishes or something like that. So that to me, it's like almost like the, I, I end up listening to those a lot more because they, they kind of have like 
these very built-in arcs to the to them being being kind of a concrete book rather than an ongoing thing. Yeah, totally. And yeah, I think both of us end up doing that a lot too, listening uh-huh. to audiobooks. I mean, especially if you own a float center and you're going in there and right. cleaning salt and doing things like that, having an audiobook or a podcast going on in the background is is an awesome way to both absorb information and better yourself while you're kind of making use of your physical body. Yeah. Um, a few I will. So there are some that are kind of self-contained little um, like 10 to 20 episode, almost like podcast mini series mm-hmm. as well that I'd, I'd recommend. Um, How to start a startup is one. Uh, again, great early stage business kind of information. Uh, Leading Wisely was another one by one of our heroes, Ricardo right, Semler, right, yeah. um, who came back just, I think, last year and recorded this little mini series of interviews with, uh, again, this is like a podcast that's very in line with our weird, weird float on alternative <laughs> business structure ways of, of he wrote this, things. this great book called The Seven Day Weekend. Way back in the day, he wrote this book, and it's it's probably one of the most like foundational pieces of business philosophy that Graham and I have uh, have read. So definitely, definitely pick up that book. It's it's super awesome, and the dude is super great. Ricardo Semler is like definitely one of our idols. Hero. Yeah, one of yeah. our heroes, like one hundred percent. Oh, hold on, my my podcast player closed down. I was just reading this straight from my phone. So, um, <laughs> and uh, oh, and Seth Godin's Startup School, um, very much in in the same kind of line as how to start up uh, or how to start a startup. Is Seth Godin? If you don't know him, he's he's one of the the most prominent and famous marketing writers. That's out there, and he's kind of sharing his information from decades of being in the business world and coaching people, and and just talking about uh, what it takes to start a business and how to vet it out ahead of time and things like that. So, also again, a great little kind of mini series, but in in podcast form that we've liked. So, um, there's more I have on here, but that's that's a really good start, and I think that's a lot of things that are um, useful to people. Uh, there are other podcasts out there, of course, worth mentioning that I personally don't listen to on a like every episode kind of basis. So, the Joe Rogan podcast. Really highly influential for a lot of uh, a lot of float tank centers out there. Mm-hmm. Duncan Trussell Family Hour, right? Um, Christopher Ryan is tangentially speaking. These are all kind of favorites in the in the float world. Yep, and all things that mention float tanks on various episodes too. Yeah. So, um, yeah, also uh, directly related to what we do. So yeah, not like industry oriented, but uh, or business oriented, but kind of in the general philosophy of float tanks. And all hilarious guys who are great storytellers yeah. with awesome content. So um, worth giving a listen and see if any of those actually speak to you. And for specifics, I, again, those are kind of the big ones I'd recommend. Um, then there's just the act of playing these and, and the, the uh, I guess, building the habits and how we go about listening to them. So for the most part, I never listen to podcasts from my computer. It's almost all just straight from my, yeah. my smartphone. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, you know, from there, there's usually like a podcasting app if you're on uh, the Apple phone. You can have Overcast. Is Overcast great- is, yeah. So we're, if you haven't figured this out, we're fans of efficiency of time <laughs> so uh, overcast is a really cool app it it you can you can get through a podcast through there and not only does it have you know one and a half speed and double speed and triple speed but there's also a setting where double speed <laughs> i don't think it goes that high there's a setting where you can uh it'll actually detect gaps between people's words and cut them out <laughs> which sounds absurd but yeah. actually ends up being kind of nice for being able to get through things yeah faster. and you like really can't even tell like it doesn't it doesn't like harm your ability to listen to things at all as far as as far as i've been able to tell through it so if you have something on double speed and you turn this thing on it'll get up to like two and a half times the normal rate of things but it'll be still be really easy to listen to so if you're wondering why awesome. our word per minute count on this podcast it's so high it's because we wander around listening to double speed audiobooks and <laughs> podcasts all the time with all the silent spaces cut out yeah so hopefully someone's listening to this on double speed and you get an extra Have challenge i've tried listening to our podcast on double speed it's really intense <laughs> like we get going sometimes and i have to slow it it's like it's our voices and i remember <laughs> saying this and i can't understand what we're saying yeah we have no gaps between our words <laughs> um so that's great you know and whatever it is uh just subscribing to the podcasts on there usually keeps them automatically downloaded, so you can listen to them even when you don't have um, internet or, or Wi-Fi connection, if you're going on road trips or something like that. Uh, and they'll usually stop downloading if you haven't listened to them in a while, so you just kind of get a little backlog. So, um, yeah, for us, it's, you know, I have, I have Overcast and kind of subscribed to my list of podcasts on there is my, my own preferred way to listen to them. So, so there you have it. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, and again, you know, just going back to back to basics, I, I highly recommend that strategy of just sort of putting today's episode from the Daily Solutions podcast on repeat. Keep that in one <laughs> ear, and nonstop. You know, although there's a lot of recommendations here, that should pretty much set you. I think. <laughs> 
All right. Well, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and end this episode so you can start it over again. <laughs> if, you have any, uh, if you have any other questions you want to send us, you can hop over to floatanksolutions.com slash podcast. Blast them our way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk to you later. We're just in a second. Daily Solutions out.